What's going on guys? I'm Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we break down and discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior. You know, I've gotten a number of emails lately and messages on our website um, about how do I build more self-confidence? And I'm going to lay out the exact way for all of you guys who have messaged me and asked me about this that you can build unstoppable, unbreakable, unfreaking shakeable self-confidence. And as always, I'm not going to fluff it up with a lot of talking. I'm going to give you the honest answer, and I'm not going to make you wait for it either. The honest answer is very, very simple. Experience. If you want to build unstoppable self-confidence, you have to have a lot of experience doing whatever it is that you want to have confidence in. You want to get better with chicks, go on a lot of dates. There's no reason these days why why you can't be going on at least one or two dates a week with Tinder, Bun, Bumble, Hinge, like all of that stuff. Like there is no reason why you can't be doing that a lot. You want to get better at um, martial arts. You got to go do a lot of martial arts. And if you go and do the right martial arts, boxing, wrestling, MMA, Muay Thai, there is no reason why you won't be very confident in your abilities. You will be fighting a lot. You'll be wrestling or grappling a lot. And eventually, after so much experience, you will have a lot of confidence in the fact that you can actually handle yourself. You want to get better at weightlifting. Go to the gym. Actually do it. Yeah, do your research so that you, you're not going to injure yourself. But once you've got a little bit of head knowledge, you actually have to get in there and put the time in under the bars, under the weights, right? You have to go to the weight pile and actually do it. Believe me, once you start seeing some results, once you start seeing some definition in your chest, some nice arms coming in, you're going to have a lot more confidence. And this brings me to another point is that um, there's a big difference between knowledge and wisdom. You know, you can read books on a subject all day long and not know anything about it. You can maybe sound like you know a little bit about it, but you won't really know it, right? There's a lot of pickup artist type guys out there. They read the books, they do the whatever, whatever it is they do. And they, you know, they they may know like do this, do do that, whatever. But then like they don't, I don't see them with a lot of girls, right? So like you got to go out there and actually date. You know, there's a lot of guys out there. Frankly, I see them in the gym trying to give advice and they look like shit. Um, there's, there's people out there, a lot of people out there, instructors who don't know how to fight. And it's fucking pathetic. Honestly, there's just, there's a lot of bullshit artists out there who may have the uh, book knowledge. They may have the theoretical knowledge, but until and unless you go out there and actually do it a lot, you're not really going to have it because there's a lot of nuances that actually come to building your skills. So you want to go out there. You know, I've got I've got some guys who ask me about how to be more socially confident, right? Not simply with women, but with in business and in going interpersonal skills and going out there and making connections. Look, if that's what you want to develop, there's plenty of books you can read on the subject, but you've got to go out there and interact with fuck tons of people all the time. Every weekend you need to be going out. Every, you know, during the week, once, twice, three times a week. You need to be going out, going to events, going to functions, going to this, going to that, dealing with people all the time. And you will get better as long as you have a mix of I'm reading about it, I'm learning more skills, and I'm actually applying the things that I've learned. It's like going to college, you know, like you can go to college for four years, six years, whatever, and you get into the work force and you find that like, well, I know about this, but there's a lot that I don't know. That's why companies want somebody with experience. And sometimes even they prioritize experience over education. But again, most companies want a mix of a good education and experience. And this makes you valuable. And this will increase your self-confidence quite a bit. So what I recommend to any man out there, even woman, is a mix of get in a good physical shape, learn how to fight, learn how to have good social skills. And that applies with business, dating, interpersonal skills, everything, right? Even tradecraft. That really takes you so much further. A mix of just really three simple things. Look good, fight good, interact with people well, 
and you will be <laughs> like a force to be reckoned with. This will boost your self-confidence so high. And especially when people start reaching out to you, they want to hang out with you. They want to be around you. You're the guy that people want to be around. Hey, that's that's a good feeling. And it's really addicting when you start to see, you know, nice muscles coming in. Right. You've got good definition in your chest. You've got a good set of muscles coming in. Right. You can flex your arm and say, hey, you know, look over there. Ah, triceps are popping. It's a great feeling. OK. And frankly, you know, for men, I always say that, like, <laughs> It, it's kind of unfair in a way because you can take a man um, who's maybe like a three or a four and with the right clothes and the right personality, he can become an eight easily. Um, not really the other way around with women so much, but it's just the way that it is. So we're ahead of the game here in any case. That really, it's very simple. You have to learn about a subject, but then you have to do it. A lot, right? Uh, there's those the famous books about 10,000 hours of any given subject before you be, can become really good at it. And then like, I personally think way more than 10,000 hours to become an expert at anything. But you want self-confidence. You have to actually go out there and do it a lot. Whatever it is that you feel will give you that confidence. Because in the end, it's all about experience. It's all about wisdom which is different than simply having knowledge that's my take on it guys and i'm not going to waste any more of your time certainly not mine i'm simply going to leave you with that please remember until next time that you are your first and last line of defense check out our website gutterfightingsecrets.com show your support you can give us a couple of bucks to grab some coffee or buy a t-shirt or even buy one of our hand-to-hand -to -hand combat training programs it's all online and it's super easy to download Thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed already, hey, consider doing so. Uh, you really got nothing to lose and you can only help us out. I appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next Warrior Wednesday and I'll see you on Saturday for another hand-to-hand -hand combat training video. Cheers, my clouds.